we're about to start the class, so I'm going to invite you guys to mute your phones for now. And then, then we can do comments and stuff at the end, okay? And just whilst you're setting up your mats, whilst you're getting yourself ready, sorting out your hair and your makeup and everything. Morning, Ines. Welcome, welcome. Okay. So those of you that don't know me, my name's Kim. And this lovely lady here is Gemma. So thank you very much for joining us in Energizing Matt. Um, so what the focus of this session is, it's during these days, we've got a lot of confusing, a lot of challenging energy around us and a lot of negativity. So what it is, is I want to invite you guys to put all of that to one side. And for the next hour, you're just going to focus on yourself. So you're going to focus on yourself. You're going to connect to the breath. You're going to connect to your body. And let's try and generate some sort of positive energy, some positive vibes that you can carry out through the rest of the day and moving forwards. Okay. So can we do that? We all good with that? Good. So let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves and let's get started. So Gemma, are you ready? Yeah. Totally. Let's do it. So we're going to start standing, okay? So what I want you to do is stand up and face me in the mat. I'm just going to be on the side over here, but I just want you to be able to see me. So what I want you to do is have your feet about hip distance apart, toes pointing forwards, and just to start with, let's just draw the energy in the feet and just think about rooting down like tree roots going down to the ground. And let's feel nice and solid. I'm going to invite you to take three breaths in a minute. So when you breathe in, I want you to think about breathing in positivity, energizing energy. And then when you breathe out, get rid of any negativity, any stress that you've got. So let's take three breaths and let's lengthen first of all. So my palms are facing back and I'm going to take a deep breath in, bring energy through my feet, breathing in, holding it up at the top. And as I breathe out, I'm going to turn my hands out to the forth and bring my shoulders down. Good. Let's do one more. Let's bring the breath more up into the ribs. Feel those ribs expand, your shoulders up. And breathe out any stress, any negative energy that you might have carried from your dreams from last night. Let's focus on moving forwards. Breathe in one more time. Feel yourself up. Take the deepest breath that you've taken in for today. Roll it back, moving out. Good, connecting to the body, keeping that sense of groundedness through the feet. So let's get the blood pumping. So I'm going to turn to the side and we're going to actually start with some squats. So keeping our back straight, then it's going to start the same way. You can choose to be on your mat or on the floor itself. I'm going to push back and I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to keep my back straight. I'm going to breathe out going to a squat, reaching up overhead. Let's do eight more of these. So moving up and squat, keep the back straight, keep the feet rooted, and three. Good work everybody, and five. We're getting the blood pumping, the oxygen's going through our system, and we're waking ourselves up. Let's do two more, two, and one. Nicely done. So let's keep that motion going, let's get these bigger muscles working. The leg that is furthest from the monitor, I want you to take a lunge forwards, and looking down, I should be able to see the middle part of the front part of my foot. And we're just going to do some simple lunges going up and down six times, keeping the back straight, looking at a far point. We're going to go down six and five. Make sure the front of the knee is not going too far forward. Four and three and two and one. Let's stay down. This leg that is bent behind us, the same arm is going to reach up and out. Let's do that stretch going down the side and let's hold that for a little bit. Three, two, one. Here's our first balance challenge. So we're going to lift this back leg. I'm going to show you one. We're going to come up and then we're going to come back down back to the same spot. Let's do four more. Coming up and four. Control. Root those feet down and up tree roots. And three. Doing good everyone. And two. And one. Good job. Let's step it back. And the other foot's going to go forwards now. Back straight. Focus on our centre. Looking far ahead. Front knee. And let's go down eight times. And eight. And seven. And six. Keep the control. Five. Keep the back straight. Four. And 
three, and I'm feeling it already, and stay down. Back leg, same arm, same side, stretch and reach over. Keep the foot rooted down into the floor. Three, here's our balance challenge again. Root your foot down, bring the back leg up, and six, and back, and five, and back, and four, and back, three, and back, two, and back, one, and back, and step it back, shake it off. The blood's pumping, the breath's up a little bit high, let's focus on our spine. So I'm going to go to the end of my mat now. And imagine my back's up against the wall, arms forward, and I'm going to slide down into a kneeling position. And then we're going to go onto all fours into our quadruped. So think about your alignment, the shoulder above the elbow, above the wrist, hands nice and wide, my hips are directly above my knees, and I'm imagining there's a tray of water on my back. So we're going to go into two cat stretches to start off with. So I want you to, first of all, take a deep breath in, lengthen through the top of your head, lengthen from your tailbone, breathe out and round the back up. Good. Breathe into the back of your lungs, into your back of the ribs, breathe out and come up into the cat stretch. Good. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, round your back off. And breathe out and come back. So I want you to look at Gemma now. So, she's going to come back into an arch, up down. So she's going to breathe in, and we're going to focus on going one bone at a time. So she's going to use her, bring her head down first, and then she's going to work up to the shoulders, middle back, lower back, and feel that sensation. Take a deep breath into the back of your ribs, hold that. And she's going to start from her tailbone. So her tailbone is going to move first. Good. Going through to the belly button, down to the chest, and coming back. We're going to reverse it now. So we're going to start from the tailbone. Think about the tailbone. Take a deep breath in, breathe out. Tuck the tailbone in. Stretch that lower back, up to the middle back, center of the chest, head rounds back. And let's round back from the head now. So breathing in and breathe out. Let's so the head coming up. Shoulders, middle back, and elbows. Let's do one more from the head first. So breathing in and out. Let's take the head through. And we're thinking about moving one bone at a time. We're going to be building up upon this sensation through the class. We've arched out. Take a deep breath in and round from your tailbone, coming all the way back up. Good work, everybody. Lengthen your spine again one more time. Imagine you've got that tray of water on your back, so we've got the, what we call a neutral spine. The arm that is closest to the computer, I want you to bring it behind your head. Focus on keeping your hips even. We're just going to open the chest a little bit. So I want you to open that elbow up to the ceiling, open your chest, say hello and smile at me, and bring the elbow in touch with the other elbow. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in and open, breathing out and come. Breathing in, open and smile, and close. Two more times, in and open, and close. One last time. We're warming the spine up in every way and all the muscles up. Let's change arms, focus on keeping that back straight, that tray of water. Opposite hand goes on top of your head, and let's do five more openings. Breathing in and open, and close, touch the upper elbow. Breathe in and open. Good. Latecomers, come on in. Welcome, join on in. And two. And one. Good work. From there. So our spine is nicely worked up. Our spine is nicely loosened up. Let's go into our classic bridging exercise. So we're lying down on our backs, feet about hip distance apart, and a sort of nice wide angle there. And we're just going to roll down. So what I want you to do is think about your spine, the back of the head, the back of the shoulders, back of the hips, all in one line, natural gap underneath your lower back. We're going to take a deep breath in, tilt the hip away, arch gets bigger, breathe out, stretch the lower back onto the floor, and peel your tailbone, everything up, and peel up one bone at a time. Coming up into our bridge, so we've got a nice long diagonal, knees pointing away, take a deep breath in, 
Breathe out and melt that chest down. Gradually one bone at a time. Good. When you get to the bottom, repeat that, breathing in, breathing out, peeling up. Good work, you're looking good everybody. Take a deep breath in at the top, breathe out, peel back down. Let's do that two more times. Good, breathe in, breathe out, follow Gemma for now, I just wanna see how you guys are doing. Good work, keep that sensation of lengthening away through your knees. Don't have your chest too high, let's keep it nice and soft there. And let's make this one, the last one. This time I want you to peel up and stay up. Okay, so what I want you to think about is we're gonna move the hips from side to side. So imagine you're swiping your iPad or swiping your phone. I want you to swipe your, elbow, your hips away from the computer, towards the computer, back to your center and come down one vertebra. Swipe away to one side, swipe to the other side, back to the middle, down one more bone. Try to keep your knees as still as you can. Over to one side, over to the other side, to the middle, down one more, let's keep it going. Some of you might remember what a tight water is. That's that sensation. Those of you that don't remember what a tight water is, Okay, Google search it. Come to the middle and come all the way down. Good, do one more time, breathing in, breathing out, peel up. Let's really work on these muscles now. So squeezing your glutes and let's hold that position. From here, I want you to float your arms up to the ceiling and maybe a little bit further if you feel that you've got that range of motion in your shoulders. Breathing out, I want you to bring your arms back down but keep the hips up. Let's keep that motion going. Just bring your awareness to your shoulder. Any tightness, just go in what's your range of comfort. But just feel a little bit up the stretch, feel your chest opening and keep that movement going. We should be feeling our hamstrings and our glutes working and a little bit of a burning sensation. Okie doke, last time. And let's keep your arms up, pointing to the ceiling. Good, from there. You're gonna push your arms down and to the floor and push your hips up higher. We're gonna keep our back straight, arms come down, let, um, let the back stay straight, bring it down to the floor. We're gonna pump seven times, we're gonna lift the hips up. And let's go, pump up, push into the floor, and down. And six, and down. And five, breathe as you need, and down. Breathe out, four, and down. Good work everybody, three, and down, and two, and down. Last one, hold it. Breathe in, breathe out, melt the spine down. Good, so we've warmed up here. The spine's moving, let's warm up the abs a little bit. So your hands, let's interlace our hands together, and let's bring them behind our head to support our skull. And we're gonna go into a few chest lifts. So, I want you to try either have that maintain that lower back underneath your that gap underneath your lower back, or you can have a slight press in if you prefer. So what we're gonna do, breathe in and lengthen your spine, give a little bit of a pull here. I can see the elbows from the side of my view. I'm gonna breathe out, I'm gonna peel my head, neck, and shoulders up, looking between my knees. I'm gonna come up to about the bra strap height. Those of you guys that don't know what a bra strap is, use your imagination. Take a deep breath in at this point. Breathe out, lower yourself down. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in to lengthen, breathe out, peel up. Hold it here. Feel that sensation of that scooping of that belly. Breathe out and breathing out down one more time. Let's do that one more time and we're gonna hold up. Breathe in to lengthen, breathe out, peel up. Imagine you've got a corset, tighten out across here. Bring one leg up to tabletop, bring the other leg up to tabletop. Keep your lower back in the same position. Dip one foot down to the floor like you're testing the temperature of the water, bring it back. Change legs. Keep that motion going, try to maintain that right angle of your feet. If you feel your lower back is arching, feel free to bring your feet back down to the floor. Stop here, bring your legs back to tabletop. Good, from here, keep your feet together and open the knees so we're gonna have a butterfly effect. 
from here, dip down as far down as you can go, maintaining your lower back down and back up. From here, stop. Bring your knees back together, bring your toes out and come back down. We're warming the hips up as well. Up, change, butterfly, down. And up. Change, open, and down. You're feeling it in your abs. Good. Feet together. One more time. Down, up. Knees together, feet out, down. Up, and bring your legs back to tabletop. Stay there. Bring your hands behind your, bring your legs down to the floor. Bring your hands behind your legs. Pull yourself up a little bit higher. So we're past our bar strap. Good. Now from here, stay there. Bring your hands back behind your head. Breathe out, lower yourself down. Wasn't that fun? Let's do a few more of those up to chest to position number two. So let's do that. Breathing in, lengthen, breathing out, peel up, hold it. Stay. Breathe in, arms behind the legs. Breathe out, hold yourself up. Stay. Bring your hands back behind your head. Stay. Stay a bit more. A bit more. And now from down. Good. <laughs> Let's do that one more time so Jerry can experience it. Breathing in to lengthen, breathing out, peel it up. Breathing in, hands behind the head. Breathing up, pull it up. Hold it here, hands behind your head. Hold it six, five, four, three, two, one, and gracefully come back down. That was fun, wasn't it? So we're going to go into a single leg stretch. So the leg that is closest to the computer monitor, I want you to bring it up to tabletop. You're going to grab your hands on top of those knees. The hand that is on the outside, you're going to slide it to your ankle. And you're going to push your leg into your hand to get your head, neck and shoulders up. And you're going to lengthen that far leg away, looking at that far toe. Good. Feel that length through the top of your head and your toe as you change legs. And push that leg into your hand. I want to see your arms motioning and change. And change. Keep that going. And five. And four. Oops, there's Gemma. And three. And two. And hold it there. Let's work our lower abs a bit. Push your hand onto the top of your thigh. Push the other hand on top of the thigh. So there's a push, push sensation. Your lower abs are working and change. Eight. And change. Seven. And six. Breathe. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good. Bring your legs in, hands behind, and come up into a seated position. We all good? Thumbs up if you're having a good time. We're enjoying it? Good. Right. From here, we're going to do an assisted roll-up variation. So I want you to keep your hands behind your knees, and let's keep your feet flat down on the floor for now. So you remember your tailbone. I want you to breathe in and lengthen. And as you breathe out, roll your tailbone away and just round the spine off. Hold that position here. Come back up and open your arms up and bring in the sunshine, bring in the energy. Good. Bring your hands back down, roll back down. Let's do that one more time. So you're rolling back up, stacking your spine, opening the chest. Let it all in. Good. Come down, roll down. Stop here. Hand that is closest to the computer monitor. Let's wave it back to the far corner of the map. Bring it back. Other hand, bring it to the other corner. Bring it back. Stop, go down one vertebra. Hold, other hand. What? Like you're brushing your hand through the wind for some of the stream. Good. And one more time. And brush back. Be graceful, keep those feet down. And we got one more, let's go. Ah, feel it. Scoop back and back. Graceful with the arms. Good. Come all the way back up. Open the chest. Jenna's looking a little bit pink. And then from there, bring your hands back to the stupid and roll yourself down. Okay. And I want you to turn now to face me and face the actual computer screen. So we're going to do some side work. And we're going to go to a side lift. And Jen's going to show a variation where she's going to bend her lower leg. I'm going to have both legs long and notice that the edges of my feet are on. 
So I'm gonna line my body up with the front edge of my mat. My arm, I'm gonna put a little bit further out and I'm gonna drag it in. So the shoulder is directly above the elbow and my hands down by the side. Okay, so everybody, look strong, look proud. We're gonna do one lift. So I want you to come up and lift. Good, and come back down. So you adjust your position as you need. Focus on here. And we're now gonna do, let's go for six, opening of the top arm and top leg when we've lifted. So we ready? Let's come up. Moving in and let's come up and let's hold that. Top arm, top leg, lift up and six, hold. Bring it down. Stay up and five. Good, look at me, don't look at the feet. And four. Smile, be strong and three. Last two and two, looking good. And one, smile, down, hold, bring the hip down. Good, we're gonna go into what we call the developer. So we're gonna channel our inner ballerina. So what I want you to do is bring this arm down and cup your head. But I want you to imagine that this mat is really hot. So you push into your elbow and you lift your torso off the mat. You can put your feet slightly forwards and let's do a little ballerina leg. So let's like open out into a little V there. So keep that open chest, look strong, look proud, look happy. And then from there, we're gonna keep the leg long, sink the other leg down and kick up. Don't bend, stay strong. Look at the knee, bend the knee, do not move the knee. Toe touches the inside, wash away. Let's do three more of those. So kick up, bend knee, wash away. Keep going. Do two more. Notice that Gemma's got that lovely articulation, that strength. Do one more. Coming down, she touches down, she brushes away. Hold it there. You're going to reverse the motion. So she's going to brush in, kick up, bring it back down. Do three more. Everyone, you're looking good. Smile a bit more. Don't look at your feet. Open the chest. Be proud. Good. Is that four? Three. Good. One more. Thank you for being honest. Good, and relax. So from here, we're gonna roll onto our backs and we're gonna go into the rollover. So Gemma's gonna have an adaption where she puts a towel underneath her lower back to help her up. I'm gonna show you one little help for that I sometimes do in the start, and then some of you might wanna grab the side of your legs. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna lengthen the arms away. Our legs are heavy on the floor, like we've got, mat, and we've got bean bags on them. I'm going to breathe in, arms, head, necks up, and I'm going to start to peel it up. I'm getting stuck here, so I'm going to do my cowboy lasso. I'm going to loop it over something, and I'm going to pull myself up, 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 and stretch forwards. Good. I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to sit back tall again. If I need the help, I'm going to grab by the side or grab my imaginary rope and lower myself down one bone at a time and reach over. Okay, let's do five more of those as best we can. Breathing in, reaching up, breathing out, reaching through the feet, breathing out, rolling, peeling off the floor, reach into your spine, stretch forwards. Breathe in, sit tall. I start from the lower back, I roll back, gradually one bone. Looking good, everybody, keep the control. Good. Breathing in, arms, head, neck, shoulders up and coming up. Those of you that want a bit more of a challenge, you can keep your arms by your ears and you can come up like so and roll down with the arms staying by the ears but keep the control. Rolling down, rolling down, rolling down and down. And let's do one more. Breathing in, breathing out, roll up. Yeah. Reach. Come to a seated position, hold it here. Now, cross your legs, come, push your weight forward, and we're gonna come into what we call a prone or lying down face forward, whatever. Okay, so I want you to reach your hands back. Your palms are gonna be flat down on the mat for now, and your legs are long on the mat. And we're gonna go into what we call the dart. So your nose is hovering just off the floor. Imagine there's a ball just in front of your nose. You're gonna breathe in, push the ball away with your nose, Feel your chest up onto your lowest rib and just hold it here. Keep your hands flat on the mat for now. Look towards the front edge of your mat. 
Breathe in and lower yourself down. Good. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, heel. Good. Think about your upper back, your middle back. Breathing at this point, breathing out lower. Think about those muscles in your back pulling down to your lower spine. Let's do that one more time and come up and stay up. Breathe in. Now what I want you to do is lift the hands off the floor, just like Gemma's just doing there. Now you can choose to have your palms facing down or your palms facing up, whichever works for you. And I want you to imagine you're pushing the air away. So let's push up to 10 and nine and eight. Keep it controlled, seven and six. We're working the back of the arms and four, and three, and two, stay up there. We're up here. Now bend your elbows, bring them to around your bra strap height. Your arms are like grasshopper legs. Elbows pointing to the ceiling. From here, push your elbows back towards your feet a little bit more, and feel that stretch in your upper back a bit more. Keep the lows width down. Breathe out, lower yourself down. Keep that length of the neck. Breathe in, come up to the height that you were in dark, you should be able to move your fingers. Now push your hands down and push your elbows back just to lift up a little bit higher and come back down. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in, open. This is to help counteract all of that hutch desk work that we've been doing. Breathing out, come back down. Shine a light out of your chest. Breathing in and shine it. Shine, 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 come down. Reach the arms forwards now. We're going to go into swimming. So reach your legs long, reach your arms forward. Let's just do a quick little prep. So lift, so have your head just hopping off the floor. Lift your right arm, left leg, long and off the floor. And down. Left arm, right leg, long and off the floor. And down. Both arms, both legs off the floor. And let's start alternating and swimming on the spot. And 10. Keep it under control. Seven. We're swimming on the top of the water. Imagine you need to come up with breath. So open the chest up and let's double three. 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five, four and three and two and one. Hands down by your bar strap, push up. Come into a child pose. And I need to remember that I need to breathe. <laughs> okay, good. Right, so we've just come back into that line position. And now we're gonna do the side lift on the other side. So from here, turn onto your side. Remember, you're gonna have your lower leg bend like Gemma's gonna be doing, but otherwise I want to see your feet nice and lengthened, edges of your feet on top of each other. Arm comes out, drag it in a little bit. Open the chest, look towards me, not your feet. Arm, leg in line. Are we ready? We're gonna do six in a row. So let's breathe in and lengthen and up. And top arm, top leg, control, and six. Push into the floor with your arm. And five. Good. And four. Smile, people. And three. Smile if it's not about two. You got it. Last one. One. Come down. Bring the hip down. Good. Let's lie down. And remember, your mat is hot. You don't want it to burn your side. So lift that side. Push in with your elbow. Ballerina legs, focus, you can have this hand hip or band, and let's kick up. Keep the knees still, bend, brush away. Keep that motion going, kick up, bend, brush away, good. Kick up, bend, one more, good. I lose count, but luckily Gemma is keeping very close count. Reverse the motion now. So you're gonna brush in, you're gonna kick out, you're gonna bring it down. Keep pushing into the floor with your arm to engage your sides. You guys are looking really strong. Good work. And is that the last one? One more. One more. Nice, you're done. Okay. You done? Good. So, we're nicely warmed up. So it wouldn't really be a proper Pilates session unless we brought 100 in. So let's work a little bit more abs and let's work on the breath. So for those of you that haven't done it, Okay, what I want you to do, let's have our feet down for now. Let's have our arms reaching long, and we're gonna come up into that chest lift one position, the arms are gonna come up. The, good, the important thing about hundreds is do we do focus on the breath. So I want you to just pump your arms. 
Okay, you are not getting a manicure, so we're not doing the flappy wrist thing. So pump your arms from the shoulder, keep the body still. We're gonna breathe in for five counts. So breathing in for five, four, three, two, out for five, four, three, two, one, relax. So you know how it moves, so no excuses, none of this flappy business, stay strong. So we're gonna do the real thing now, but with a little bit of a surprise. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come up to chest position one, energy out of the fingers, one leg up to tabletop, other leg to tabletop, are we ready? Start pumping and breathing in for five, four, three, out for five, four, three, in for out, four, out for five, four, three, good, two, one, out for five, four, three, stop. Put your hands on top of your knees. Push yourself up higher, hold that position. Now from here, left with both arms, legs to the ceiling. Now, butterfly your arms out to the side, bend your knees and come back. Good, let's do two more. Try to reach your arms and legs a little bit further this time and come up, keep your upper body up. One more time, up and out. Good, lengthen the legs to the ceiling. Have the hands down by the side, hundreds, go. Five, four, three, two, out for five, four, three, good. Lower the legs if you can. Forty-five. Five, five and four, three, two, one, and stop. Bend your knees, hands on top. Good. Push in with your knees. Open to the side and open. Three, your banana shape. And back. And open. Two. And back. Open, hold. And close, hold that position. That was fun. We're not done with the hundreds yet. Push your lower back into the floor. Lengthen these legs long, a little bit more out. Arms down by the side. And let's go, breathing in for five. Out for five, load the legs, go. Load the legs if you can. I've lost count. Let me down. And relax. That was fun, wasn't it? Good job. So, get yourselves up. <laughs> and we're gonna go into rolling like a ball. So make sure you've got nice space behind you. Remember with rolling like a ball, we're gonna stay away from the neck area, roll only as high as your widest part of your shoulders. So, earlier, we had our hands behind our knees. So we're gonna stay in this position. So from here, we're going to focus on maintaining that C curve. So I'm going to round my spine. My eye gaze stays between my knees and stays there. There's a nice ball of energy in front of me. And I'm trying to create a ball shape. My feet are just about to lift off the floor. And I'm going to breathe in, I'm going to roll back. I'm going to breathe out and roll forwards. Hold, maintain your balance. Good, let's do it again. Breathing in, rolling back. Breathing out, roll forwards. Bring your lower abs a little bit more to open up your lower back. Let's do four more. Breathe in and out. Those of you that got ponytail, you might feel the back of your ponytail touching the floor. That's absolutely fine. Three and two and one. You're doing good. Oh, so it's all about balance. So let's have a little bit of fun to it, shall we? So what I'm going to lift your legs up. Grab your knees, open your knees. Say a little prayer. Dive your hands through between and grab your feet. We're gonna go into what we call the seal. So let's just focus on the balance. Push your legs into your arms, push your arms out. Look between your feet. So I'm actually in this shape here. Good. Let's do the same sensation. We're gonna breathe in, roll back, breathe out, push your hands in, focus, balance, balance. Good, this is fun. Breathing in, roll back. Breathing out, roll forward. If you're laughing, enjoy it. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. You're all doing a good job. So you can either stay on this version if you wish, but if you're happy, I want you to clap once down here. Roll back, clap once here. Roll back and hold. Good, you look really happy. Clap twice, boom, boom, roll back, boom, boom. Roll forward, hold. You look ecstatic. Gemma's having a fantastic time. Roll three times. Let's clap three times. Let's go. Three, two, one. Roll back. Clap. Three, two, one. Roll forward. Three, two, one. And relax. Gemma's just going to roll out of the room now, but that's fine. 
Good work, everybody. We all good? I can see lots of smiles, which is what's important. Okay, we're gonna come into a high kneeling variation now. So what I'd like you to do is face me if you can. And now you're gonna come up into a high kneel. So let me just move back a little bit. And come into the middle of your mat. Okay, let's give ourselves a little bit of a step. So my knees are about hip distance apart. I root my knees down, sending those tree roots in, and I'm opening the front here, sitting tall. Feet are flat down on the mat. Let's reach my arms forward. And just as if the wind is blowing the tree, I want you to breathe in. I can imagine it's just blowing over a little bit. You're still strong and rooted through your legs, but you're flexible at the top, opening the hips, come back. Good. Now let's open our hands up to the side like an aeroplane. Shoulders down. Good. So what I want you to do now is mirror me, breathe in, and let's fly over to one side. And lengthen the other leg. This hand here, only the finger is touching the floor. Either keep the finger down or bring this hand behind your head. Up to you. This hand, let's bring it down to the side. Lengthen through the foot, lengthen through the head. My toe is just on this floor and keep in. And I'm gonna lengthen and bring that back down. Let's do five more. And five, and back. And four, and stretch, and back. And three, reach through your foot, and back. And two, and back. One, let's hold it here. Other hand comes, interlace your thumbs, bring it down to your chest, and six. And reach, and four, and three, and smile, and burn. Hand, bring it down. Kneeling side kick series. Shoulder above, elbow above, wrist, pushing into the mat. Break the leg up to as horizontal as you can, and down. Up. Imagine you're a slice of bread in a toaster. The upper body is not going to move. Up and down. Keep it up. Now, flex the foot, bring it forward, point the toe, bring it back. Your focus is your upper body not moving. So your motion does not have to be too big. Forwards and back. Let's do two more. Forwards and back. Forward, reach it back, open a hip, do six circle sizes, the size of a dinner plate. Six, five, four. Some of you are having a very big dinner by the looks of things. Two, change directions, and six, five, keep the leg long, four, feel the bone, two, one, good job, and come back into high kneeling. Ooh. We need to mirror it out, otherwise we'll be walking around a bit funny all day. So again, there's going to be a tree being blown over in the wind, blown away in the wind. Coming up, aeroplane arms again, adjust as you need, and let's fly to the other side. Fingertip touching, lift the leg away. Top, bottom hand behind the head, reach the arm up, over and down. Let's go, and six, and reach, five, and Four, if you wish, you can have this hand down on the floor. Three, and two, and reach long. Other hand grabs, thumbs into the link, down to the chest, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Come down, hand behind the head. Gemma is absolutely loving it. Leg up. And down, this is my revenge. <laughs> and keep the bodies long and strong. Good. Two. And keep it horizontal. Flex come forward. Point go back. And forward. And back. Look at me. Don't look at your feet. Look at me and smile. <laughs> That's not a smile. <laughs> and reach it back. Circle six times. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, chain, six, five, burning, three, two, one, come back. And let's go back. Wasn't that fun? You good? Okay. So let's go into a bit of a swan, shall we? Let's go opening our chest and let's counterbalance all of that hunching that we do on the computer or on the mobile phone. So let's lie down on our front again. And do you remember that prone where we had the elbows pointing up before? Let's do that one more time. So 
Elbows pointing, hands close to your chest. Best try and squeeze the elbows together. Breathe in, peel up to your lowest rib. Look at the front edge of your mat. Feel those back muscles working. Breathe out, come back down. Good. This time we're going to go up into a swan. So breathe in. Actually, no. Let's come up with just a halfway, partial swan. So let's come up to our little belly. Good. Feel those back muscles. Draw the elbows down. Come all the way back down. So this time we're going to really push into the floor and come up into a swan. So breathe in, coming up. Push into the swan. Good. Open the chest. Look directly forwards. Shine a knife under your chest and breathe in, breathe out, bend the elbows, slowly drag the hands in to lengthen the spine as you go down. Good, let's do that two more times. Breathe in, peel, push into the floor, look amazing, open the chest, take a deep breath in, drag the palms in, bend the elbows down. Good, do one, no, do two more for me, breathe in, Lengthen, push the elbows back to your feet a little bit more. All of you, you look great. Smile at the top for me. Thank you. Breathing in, <laughs> breathing out, lower yourself down. Good. One more time, come up and hold it. So we're going to hold this one position. I want you to remember that sensation on your back muscle. Lengthen the energy out of your feet and we're going to be a frozen banana as we walk forwards and come back up. Show me one. Let's go. Walk forward. Let's go for six more. And go. And six. And five. Maintain the shape. And four. And three. And two. And one. Good work. Push up into a child pose. Stretch out your back. I see you all getting a nice little swell on. That's really excellent. You right, Gemma? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so from here, we're going to go. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep going. So that's warm up's done. Let's go into a bit of a rollover. So make sure you've got enough space in the back. Gemma's going to do an adaption where she's going to do a partial rollover. The rest of us are going to go all up and over. Remember, stay off the neck, stay on the widest part of your shoulders. You can do a partial rollover like Gemma's going to do. Okay, from here, I bring my legs up to tabletop. I lift my legs away. If I need, I can go the legs to give momentum as I come up and over into my rollover. I try to get my legs as horizontal to the floor as I can. I open my legs to shoulder width apart. I flex the feet. I use my abs to slowly control the work coming down. When my hips make contact with the floor, I open my circle, my legs out to the side and back, and I push all the way back up and over. Good. Let's do three more of those coming down. The circle size depends on you. I'm going to make mine small because I want to focus on my pelvic stability. And coming up. Good. Let's do two more. Coming down. Control your descents. Good. Everyone, excellent. You're looking strong. One more. Don't hold your breath, people. Good. From there, let's relax for a second and come back down. What are we going to do? Let's do a little. Who likes teasing? Let's do a little bit of teaser, shall we? So, let's really work those abs. We've done a bit of an over. We're going to come forward a bit. So, sit back in your assisted roll-up position that we did at the start. Up we get. Oh, I wish your dogs joined the class. Fantastic. Okay, so hand behind your knees. Good. So, from here, what I want you to do is just think about rolling back so your weight is behind your ceiling bones to start with. Good. Let's keep our feet flat down on the floor for now. But what I want you to do now is open your arms forward and open your chest, straighten your chest and receive a massive round of applause. Good. Breathe in from this point, breathe out from your hands forward and roll your spine down. Good. Arms reaching up and over, legs stay still. Breathe in, arms, head, neck, just like roll up we did earlier, coming back up. And show off your diamond necklace. Your weight is still behind your sit bones. So guys, roll your back a bit so you're behind your ceiling bones. You're not, you're not here, we are here. Open, good. The leg that is furthest from the monitor, lengthen it away. If you've got tight hamstrings, you can bend the leg. Keep the leg up, breathe in, breathe out, start to roll down, keep the leg up, keep the leg up, keep the leg up. Shoulder blades make contact, legs come down. The leg that is long is gonna come up, breathe in, 
Peel head, neck, and shoulders up first. Start to roll up. When my shoulders leave, my leg comes up. Ah. Remember, diamond necklace, show it off. Good. Change legs. Good. From here, lengthen arms, open the chest. Breathe in, breathe out, lower, lower, lower. Legs comes down. Ah. Breathe in, breathe out, come back up. Leg comes up. Show off the diamond necklace. Receive the round of applause from the people. Both legs are long now. Open the chest. Massive round of applause. Look fabulous. Breathe in, breathe out. Low the spine first. Then the legs. Are we ready for this? Breathe in, reach, peel up. Both legs coming up. Show off the necklace. No one cares if it's a Swarovski Christmas decoration. Breathe in, breathe out, roll down. Good, and let's do one more for fun. Breathing in, breathing out, rolling up, 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 and hold. Turn to the monitor, smile, and bring your legs down, and relax. We good? Can you feel it? Right, can you feel it? Right, let's combine everything together, and let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Not that we're not having fun anyway, but from here, we're gonna do what's called a boomerang. So let's go into one and let's cross our feet like a lady. Good. So Jeremy's gonna do the version which is gonna stay rolling like a ball, but from here, we're gonna have a hand behind the leg. Just like rolling like a ball, we're gonna roll back and roll forwards. This time when you roll back, you're gonna uncross and cross your leg. Roll back, uncross, cross, come forwards. Let's do it again. Roll back, uncross and cross and forwards. You got that? So you can either stay with this rolling like a ball version or you can go to the rollover version. So Jen's gonna stay with the rolling like a ball version. So we're gonna go roll back, legs up, roll over, uncross, cross, and we're gonna control coming back. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna come into a teaser. Yay! And then the legs are gonna come down, and I want you to stretch forward, cross your arms into a dying swan. We good? Right, let's sit back tall again. Breathe in, roll down, roll over, legs, uncross, cross, come up into your teaser. Open the chest, look strong, good work. Legs down, swish the arms back dramatically and into your dying one. Let's do that 50 more times and maybe once or twice. Roll back, uncross and cross, roll forward, hold your teaser, hold your teaser. Good, legs down, last one, dying swan to come through. Good, good work everybody. You combined all of those moves, had fun, and looked fabulous. Right, let's go into our little bit of a single leg, little bit of a bridging routine. So, remember we did single leg stretch earlier where we had our knees bent and we were like, swish, swish. Let's do the same again, but let's adapt it. So. Lying down, leg closest to the monitor, bring it up, grab the knee, hand slides down, push in, lengthen the top leg, come into that chest lift position number one. Let's do three changes, let's go and change. Three, and two, and hold. Change again, and three, and two, and hold. Hold it there, we're gonna go into single straight leg stretch, where we're gonna lift that bent leg, we're gonna climb higher up that leg. Good, from here, Let's change three times. Three and two and hold. Good. From there, bring this leg down, bend the leg. Come down and we're gonna go into a single leg bridge. So from here, peel your bum up. Keep the hips even. You can have your hands by your hips in focus and flex the foot, bring it down, point the toe, bring it up. Let's do seven more. Seven and up. Six. Keep long through the leg. Five and up. Four, push the hips up, and three, and up, and two, and up, and one. Keep the leg long, bring the hip down. Climb back up the leg. Lengthen the other leg long, peel up into your chest lift position, and change three times. Three, two, hold. Again, three, two, hold. Climb up higher. And three more times. Three, two, hold. Another time. Three, two, hold. Good, bend that lower leg. 
Coming up. Are we on the same leg? No, same leg. Same legs. Oh, shall we? We should change legs. Come up. And now, good. From there, I got a bit excited there. Yeah? Come up into your bridge, focus on your hips, and let's go. And eight, and seven, and six. Push into the floor. Five, good work. And four, and three, and two, and one. Bend the leg, push your hips higher, breathe in, breathe out, melt the spine down. Good. The leg that is furthest from your computer monitor, lengthen it away, turn to the side, and come up to face me into a Z-sit position. So we're gonna go into our mermaid now. Okie doke. So from here, you should be mirroring me, the front leg should be parallel. Try to get your sit bones in line. Breathe in, lengthen the arms out. I can see the edge of my hands and my vision. I'm gonna breathe in, I'm gonna lengthen. I'm gonna breathe out, I'm gonna turn to my back foot. So, coming through. Good. Lengthen this arm towards where the wall meets the ceiling. Send the energy out. Breathe into this top lung. Breathe it out, come back. Take a deep breath in, other way. Breathe out and come through. Three. Stretch, pushing with this hand, lengthen, and back. Let's do two more on this side. And two, and back, and one. Let's reach this arm to the ceiling. Let's turn this supporting hand to face forward. And I want you to breathe in, breathe out, stretch your hand through underneath your armpit. Good, reach a little bit further, like you're squeezing all the wall of our towel. Breathe in and open. Breathe out, squeeze the air out. Breathe in and open, last time. Breathe out, squeeze all the air out. Come back up, open out, counterbalance, stretch to the other side. From here, let's keep our arm up and let's try to change our legs over. Good, from here, lengthen, counterbalance, stretch to the back leg, moving through. Feel the top of your lungs opening, breathing in. Come back, take a little left, lengthen to the top of your head, breathing out and side. Good. Let's do two more on this side. And two, reach that hand away, feel the stretch down the side. And one, stretching through. Good. And let's counterbalance, stretch all the way to the other side. And come back. So. And from here, hand reaching up, and we're gonna point the fingers out. I'm gonna take through three, and two, and one. Good, breathe it in, counterbalance, stretch. And this time, bring both your hands over to this side, and we're gonna come into our plank. Good. So let's give. Let's go for a little bit of rotation. So what I want to do, those of you that need to go into quadruped or on your hands and knees, that's absolutely fine. But let's try and keep our shoulders above our elbows, above our wrists, hands pointing out. Let's try to go into the plank. From here, let's try and bring the opposite knee to the opposite elbow. Get a little bit of a rotation, then foot out, opposite knee to opposite elbow, and back. Let's keep that motion bring out and in. And good. Let's go for six and five. And four, then through the top of your head. Three, and two, and one. From there, let's push it into an inverted V. Stretch your back a little bit, good. I've got tight hamstrings, so I need to like bend my knees a little bit to get that stretch in my back. Good, and let's come back into your plank. So think about kicking sand with your feet. I want you to flick your feet, lengthen, and bring it back. Change feet, keep that length flicking. You should hear a flick sound, of your feet on the mat. Don't go for height, go for length. And let's go for six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Let's go back into our inverted V. And from here, we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet. So four, three, two, one. I'm gonna to step to the side so you can see me. We're gonna come up. From the tailbone, unwrapping, lengthening. Good. We're not done yet. Lengthen through the top of your head. Feel like you've been pulled from the top. Feel your head up off the imaginary wall. Then the neck, then the shoulders. 
going down. Imagine you're going up and over something. Good. Hang, come down. Feel that solidness through your feet. And if your knees aren't touched, feet aren't, hands aren't touching the floor, soften your knees and walk your hands forwards. Four, three, two, one. Good. From here, let's maintain that plank shape and lower your body down. Four, three, two, one. Good. You remember Swan from earlier, lengthen your toes away. Hands down by your bra strap. Breathe in, peel your head, neck and shoulders up. Breathe out, push up into a swan. Put your toes on the floor, push up into a plank. Lower the body down, four. Keep the elbows close to the body, two, one. Lengthen toes away, breathe in, push into a swan. Good, toes on the floor, push up into a plank. Lower the body down, four, three, two, one. Lengthen the toes away, breathe in, push up into a swan. We've got a few more of these, you can do it. Toes on the floor, come up into a plank, lower the body down, four, three, two, one. Last time, I promise. Breathe in, lengthen the toes, breathe in into a swan. Toes down, into your plank, hold your plank. Push back into a plank B. Walk the hands back, four, three, two, one, and unroll your spine one bone at a time. Good work. So, turn to face the monitor, face the screen. We feeling good? Okay. Feel that length, the heart's pumping, we've got a nice run on. Let's review what we did at the start. So what I want you to do is have your feet solid on the floor. Remember that feeling of rootedness and sending those roots down into the floor. What we're going to do is we're going to take three deep breaths and we're going to bring all the energy back to ourselves and we're going to carry that out through to the world. So what I want you to do is center into your feet, breathe in and open. Gather all the energy, fill your lungs up, breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring the energy back and bring it to your center, just below your navel. Good, hold it there. Good, breathe in one more time, bring in, cover all of the energy. If you wish, you can stretch onto your toes, breathe it out and bring your hands to your heart. Feel grateful for what we have in the world and feel good, feel positive. And last time, breathing in, opening. And now bring the energy to the top of your head. Bring the hands down through the back of your head, the back of your neck, down through your body and send it back down through your feet, rooting down back to earth. Good. Bring it all back, find your center line. And last time, I want you to reach one hand up to the ceiling. I want you to reach the other hand across your waist. Look, stretch that hand up, and I want you to curl the wrist and slowly take a bow. Good. If you wish, you can take a curtsy, but thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. And you did great. I love the smiles. I love the expressions on your faces. But have a great day ahead. We've got June joining us later. If you want to, Give any comments or feedback, please do. But have an awesome day. Have an awesome week ahead, everybody.